It was a common day. We were uh, working. No percibimos la llamada, la alerta sísmica. And then, with no expectation at all, start a very hard movement. We can't expect anything. If we only had 10 seconds, 20 seconds, we can move out. We can get our stuff out of the building. We could save a lot of lives. Why seconds to save life? For people who are located, uh, I would say further than 100 kilometers from where the earthquake is occurring, there's still enough time for them, even though they are seconds, to do something about it. We actually uh, want to help in uh, Mexican people and population to be more aware of what happened uh, in case of uh, seismic activity or earthquake threat. We just want to know when an earthquake is happening and estimate the approximate size of the event that is happening so that we can issue an alarm. The existing uh, sensors uh, deployed in Mexico, only 100, uh, to detect the, the seismic activity is not very, very efficient. It costs a lot. Uh, we, we could not uh, seen as a global solutions. In terms of, of the project that we are uh, talking about, which is to improve the early warning capabilities of, of Mexico's system, is after very cheap sensors that can be deployed everywhere, mostly everywhere. And then we would be after a very large amount of data. The main technical challenges of the project are in terms of network coverage, the design of our ultra low cost sensor that can be easily deployed in the field and that can have battery that lasts for several years. Also the implementation of the right detection algorithms and so on. Fortunately, with all the partners in the project, we have the right expertise to achieve this in a very, very efficient manner. As a Sigfox operator, to build the network that will be listening to those sensors. I'm doing this because I see IoT as a big opportunity to face those issues in Latin America. Citizens are already familiar with the seismic alert system, and anyone who experienced the earthquake in 1985 and the one in 2017 can see the value that this type of technology brings to the population. Once they see the improvement of the system and we are able to reach a larger amount of population, there's no doubt people will embrace and adopt this technology. Taking advantage of, of the capabilities of, of this, the transmission of short messages through dedicated networks, yet another revolution in terms of technical advances.